files. Okay, so now we are recording. You have to accept that. Anyway, since we have three violas here this year, how many of the violas are here with us today? William. Yeah, we have two others, Lucas and I can't remember who the other one was, one of the new people um, who kept raising both hands. Who was that? Might have been Benji. Um, anyway, since we're going to be writing for viola, I am using the clef that violists use. How many of you find this clef terribly confusing? OK, I'm going to explain the clef first to make life really easy for you. And the way I will do that, I'm going to add a keyboard. OK. OK, so the viola clef, the middle C clef, is the bridge between the treble clef and the bass clef. So the top two lines of the viola clef are, let's see, it's going to take these two notes, the bottom two lines of the treble clef, and the bottom two lines are the top two lines of the bass clef. So, it's the F and the A for the bottom two. And you want to think of it this way because the C that's there in the middle of this clef is middle C, which is this note and also this note. And the thing to know about all the clefs we have, for those of you who've never seen this middle C clef before, there aren't any of the other letters that have clefs. You know, we have seven letters, but this is it, just so you know. Um, and within any of those clefs, if a note is a line note in one of the clefs, it's a line note in all of the clefs. So middle C is always a line note. This is why you don't want to relate this to the treble clef and say, oh, that's like the treble clef, but a note up, because it's not. It's an, it's an octave lower. So think of that middle line as middle C. And then if you're guessing what notes are, like the first note in the second measure, that's a space note. And so you think in the treble clef, what are my space notes? F, A, C, E, that cannot be G. It cannot be B, it cannot be D, it cannot be F. It's A. Does that help? You can also, of course, make up a fun little saying, F, A, C, E, G, face gorillas. Okay, that's the lines. Does that make the more comprehensible though, knowing it's the bridge between those two clefts. So you got the bass clef lines, the treble clef lines, and middle C. Yes? Happy? I have to make sure I can see Florence. Oh, and Benji's here. You are a violist, right, Benji? She has both hands up. Florence, did this make sense to you? You already weren't challenged by the clef, were you? <laughs> so that's great. Um, I just wanted to start with that, then I will remove this. For those of you who don't know this program, it's MuseScore, and I'm a Finale user, a MuseScore user, and NoteFlight I can use. I hate NoteFlight, but I can because I use it when I teach classes, because then you don't have to have a specific device. You sign on on the cloud. Anyway, so here we have the notes. What's the first note here? Yell it out. C, what's the second note? G. G, what's the third note? A flat. A flat, good. And the fourth note? B flat. B flat. And the fifth note? G. Now, look at this melody that I wrote, or listen to it. I'm hoping you will hear it. I'm still muted. You would not hear it if I'm muted. Why do we not have sound? Are you guys hearing it in your headphones? Ooh. Very weird. I can hear it off the computer. You can hear it on the computer. I can hear it in my head. So can't hear it on those. So Benji and Florence, you're able to hear it? Good. What's our first note? Sing it, William. No, middle C. Here, I'll play it. Oh. Ta, 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 ta,
da da da. That's what I heard in my head. Okay, did I sing it right, Kevin? Did I did I make an interesting melody? Is it sticky? Is this gonna haunt you all day? No. No? You're sure? Yes. Well, I have to make sure people can still see me. Can you see me? What are the things that I did that I talked about in my first session for those of you who are here? Because almost all of you were here in my first session, right? Great. Um, Daisy. Yeah. Rhythms. Da, da, da. And there's an emphasis on that third note. And do you know that the sixth note of the scale is the sweetest note of the scale? It's the one note that cannot be harmonized by the tonic or the dominant chord. It doesn't fit. Chopin knew this very well. You too can know this very well. So that A flat. Da, 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 da. And then I didn't go. Da, 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 da. I didn't come back to the G, even though that half step wants to go down, doesn't it? I thwarted its natural desires and went up. Da, 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 da. And then I flipped my scale. I interrupted my scale going down, right? And then ba da 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 da. So we have the A flat features. And there's an ornament at the end, right? At first, there was no ornament. Ba da, which would be okay, but ba da da da. Anyway, we'll see if it sticks with you. I'm going to ask you later, Alex. I'm going to ask you later. Do you remember that tune? And you might say, nope. And you might say, oh, yeah. So anyway, there are a bunch of processes that you can apply to a tune to get derivative material so you're not starting over from scratch all the time. OK, one of them. Do you know what any of these are? I should ask. Nobody does. OK, inversion. You flip it upside down. Now, if I'm going to flip it upside down when I did C to G, then the natural, most natural thing would be to do G to C, to trade them. I could, of course, go from the C down to the F. And we can do any old thing. But I'm going to try starting on the G. Make sure I'm on this a little bit of an octave. So G, ba, da. Now I could decide I wanted to keep the half step, right? And make this a B natural, but I might not want to, I don't know. But I do have to tie it regardless. Now, inversion for everything that you go up, you go down, and vice versa. So, my next note after this B would be what? Anybody? I have to go down, right? And then it went down a skip, so I have to go up a skip, and then up a step, and then up another step, and make it a quarter note, right? And then down, right? And now we're going to get high notes, aren't we? Going up. And now we go all the way to there, right? And then down. Have I done anything wrong yet? And what note is that I just ended on? C. Oh, was that a happy accident or what? Before we ended on G, now we're ending on C because every G becomes C the way we're doing it, right? Now, those of you who have headphones will see this, be able to hear this, right? And the rest of us, sing me this note. That first note, Kevin. 
da. Okay, we're gonna sing along with this. Are you ready? Da, 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 it gets a little tricky. Da, da, da. Has to end on C. Da. That's where we end, right? And do we want the end then to have the melodic minor and raise these guys? Or do you like it sounding modal with the lowered ones? Now, these are questions we don't have to answer right now. So this is one process that you can apply. Now, another process that you can do, whether or not you could do this to any of these processes, I can say, OK, I want to try it starting on C instead. I can drag it down to C, especially since I didn't add any naturals or anything. OK. Now it starts on C and goes to F and E flat. Is that a little weird? Those of you who could hear it, it is a little weird. But you might find that, oh, I really liked this measure, or I really liked this little bit of it. Okay? And what you do when you find little bits that you love is you keep them, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is insert four measures there. Can you guess what the next process will be? Anthony. Do you go, cause you did it um, basically you did the inverse. So now do you go backwards? So you start from backwards. the. Yeah, yeah, so we'll start from this note. And um, this is not a program that lets you paste backwards. It lets you do a lot of stuff, but not that. Let's see, five dot. I have to make sure I'm looking at the right one. That filled up the measure. D. Now, how many of you can hear in your head a tune backwards if you don't see it? Steven, I'm I'm one. You know what I mean? If because I can sing something backwards if I can view it. Okay, I'm fine. For, I'm I'm all for it. Does that make sense? Yes, he's, he's having me shred. Let's come down. I'm, I'm definitely game for shred. But here is backwards. Um, we. And that uh, note was not right. I need to do the, uh, right? I'm getting all these pro okay. blogs. Yeah, blog. Those of you who could hear it, what do you think? Hey, Lucas. Good. So backwards works, right? Absolutely, for those who have headphones. The rest of us have to sing it in our head. I think backwards could be really cool. Wasn't it? Yeah. Now, obviously, you can do backwards of the inversion as well. How many minutes do we have? Twenty minutes. Does Randall come back at eleven? So we have like five minutes. I'm not going to do backwards of the inversion right now because I want to show you the other things you can do. One is you can decide you want it in a different mode. So I can come down here and put it in, but then go to my key signatures and change it and then now the easy way to do this is to go up and down i think oh i know what i have to do 
drag it because when you drag it, it gets rid of the accidentals. It's much sweeter, isn't it? I made it C major instead of C minor. You can change mode. Make sense? Now, the other process that can be really useful as composers, we don't just write melodies. We also do transitions from one section of a piece to another. And one of the most powerful tools for transitions is the sequence, right? Do you know what a sequence is? Repetition of an idea, immediate repetition at a new pitch level. So I'm gonna look back at the original and I could take this bit, even the opening and do a sequence Make that longer. Da, da, da. Right? And then. Da, da, da. I'm going to go down a note. It's really pretty. Drag you. Da, da, da. And then I could go down another note. Da, da, da. But I could decide to add accidentals along the way in order to modulate to a new key. Alex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds like major, doesn't it? Yep. Yes. You can. Also, have you ever heard of interval expansion? I'm going to repeat all of this. Each time I could make this one one bigger. And then I get to the seventh, right? Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, da. Kind of cool, right? And you can alter the intervals as you go as you want. Now you could also do the opposite and make them smaller, right? Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, 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 right? Totally works. And that was just taking the first three notes. They may not be the most interesting part of the tune. Maybe it's this. This thingy, which actually sounds like Tchaikovsky, right? There's there's another four note tune. Um, but I could take that bit and do a sequence. I could take it upside down. Maybe I like the upside down one better. I could take this measure. You can just chain them all together. So what you want to do in order to make a sequence is figure out a part of what you've written that you can reuse. And then your sequence relates to what you've already written so it doesn't sound like you're just starting cold in the middle of your piece. So I think it is now, yes, my alarm's going to go off. I'll turn it off because I don't need it now. Now we're going to get back to the canon. Canon. And I have to remember our words, which I took a picture of because I don't trust myself. Randall, you're muted. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm not ever going to start my naked. I like turn my head so like it gets whiplash. Now, what's funny is I'm not getting sound again. So I play it and you can hear it if you have. Yeah, I don't have headphones. I don't know why I don't have sound. 
online. Yeah, it is online. This happened, this happened to me too. Yes, but it didn't happen to me in the first session. Yes? Do that. Okay. Were you hearing that though? I'm not hearing that. Were you hearing that over your over, from his computer? You heard it on your headphones, right, love? Yep. Oops, sorry. I'm here. I can hear it on the, on the computer. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba. Now, we have different people here somewhat than we did in the first session. So we get to yeah. vote. Which one do we like? <laughs> Although maybe some people came. Benji's still here. Florence is here. Yeah. But Stephen is not here. Do we like the tritone? How many love the tritone? Randall, you're muted. Yeah. Everybody thinks that's good? Yeah. This one here is kind of cool, but I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it way down somewhere like here. Sarah? Yes. I I can, am I muted? I can't tell. Yes, I'm here. No, you're um, not. Am I, Randall, you're muted. No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put no, those words no, in. I think it should be an act of higher. My, no, I'm not. Oh, oh thank you for doing capsules. that. No, you don't. So you like the C an octave higher. Randall, you're muted. No, I'm not. You're uh, muted. Well, this That's is that still the tritone. Oh. An what it notices. Higher. I can't hear it. No, I'm no, I'm not. What was Randall? What's that? What's middle C? I need my perfect pitch. That's hard to sing. Well, I, I wouldn't sing it. No, but every I'm not. <laughs> You're muted. No, I'm not. Do we want to? Okay. Do we want to be on G? Yeah, it needs to go up, up whatever interval. Well, and we don't have to have three Gs. Randall, you're muted. No, oh, no, not. No, I'm <laughs> not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Whatever. What do you like, Anthony? Randall, you're muted. Well, I was no. going to say, do you want them all three quarter notes, or do you, do we? We want came them? up with that rhythm. We wanted three quarter notes. Okay. Yeah. It would be helpful, but it would be difficult. Anthony. You want the middle note to be another tritone because then it's Randall, you are muted. No, I'm not, but that might sound that's gonna sound weird. That'd so. be kind of tricky. Yeah. We want something singable because we have to sing it. Randall, you're muted. No, I'm not. We might end up in C minor. No, I'm not. That would be in major. Randall, you're muted. No, I'm not. To C. Do you like that? G, A, B. Is that better than A flat, G? Yep. No, I'm not. And yep. this one gets an articulation. Mm. 
No, I'm not. Okay, those of you who are online and yes. who have headphones can hear this. Randall, you're muted. Yo, I'm not. That's good. Randall, now, I think. No, I'm not. Now, what we have to do, you know what? I'm To make this a little easier to cope with, we're going to put it in 2 4 and get rid of the first measure. First two beats? First two beats, yes. Oh, time. Signature. Are you going to use four? Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to delete this baby. Because the next thing when you're writing a canon is to put in that very music for voice two and then voice three. This is how the process works. Okay. Now, see, now. so that when we start writing here, Randall, you're muted. No, I'm not. Then we come up with a note here that goes with this note. And we have to have the words. What were we going to do? Eric is pointing. Oh. I have to see what else we had because I took a picture of it all. The cannon of the hand. What did you say? Randall could not handle. Okay. Randall could not handle. Randall could not handle. The problem with that is, is the rhythm is too similar to our first one, don't you think? It does have to be four measures long, though, of two, four. And we could, you know, an octave would be easy here. Yep. Down a fourth. Eric, ba -ba -da -da, something like that. Eric. And this would work. Eric, because that'll go. And now, what notes would go with F sharp that you could get to easily from G? You don't want to double the F sharp. About the A. Well, yeah, because how far is it from the F sharp? See, you always think a third up, a third down. So the two notes that especially go easily with F sharp are D and A, and A is easy to get to. Oh, later on yeah let's just do this for now eric's finger and here we could come to the g because the f sharp is done right are we happy Finger. Now, in the next measure, if we wanted to, we could do thirds above or below in parallel motion, or we could do voice exchange. So we could do E, F, G, we could do B, A, G, or we could do B, C, D. Yep. Eric's finger I think points at us or something. That's kind of high. Eric's finger points at us. So that's the da, voice da, exchange. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that'd be the easiest, wouldn't it? Yeah. And this is about stickiness. And here it'd be nice to have eighth notes if we could. E -da 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 -da. Eric's finger. E -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. 
Oh, and G is perfect, isn't it? Eric's finger points at all of us. I don't know. You could say behind us on Zoom. Like, Eric, sorry, I'm going to try and hit the note. Eric's finger behind us on Zoom or something. Eric's finger behind us on Zoom. Yeah. Is that good? Something like that. Maybe. So then we have a repeated note here, which is good. It's uh, 1055. Uh, us on Zoom, right? And then this one needs a slur. Copy and paste. Look at that. In one day, we have all of that. Then the next thing we do is we copy this. No, not that. And we put it. You already put it in. It's this one that we That's copy. You Thank you. I'm like, what am I doing here? We put that there and then we put that there. Yep. Let's listen to it. Okay. Somebody who has a speaker that's working, make it really loud. I'll turn it up as much as I can. Oh, God, this guy. It's all the way up. What do you think? That F sharp is a little tangy. Randall, you're muted. We could change it this to G. But let's let's listen again. See what it sounds like. See, can you hear it there, Sarah? Thumbs up. Yep. Considering here we are Monday. We can make changes. Benji, Florence, what do you think? Thumbs up from Ben and Florence. Yay. Okay. I'm going to say. Fabulous. Did you record? Yes. yes. Oh, mute. To do that, right? And I'm going to end. Well, I'm going to stop the recording.